And the Children's Museum will also be commemorating the holiday. They will be having special celebrations every day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. starting tomorrow until Saturday, June 22nd. They'll be organizing special activities like learning how to make the Juneteenth flag, creating banners and jewelry, and lots of music and poetry. You do not need to book your children's spot, and you can just walk in. Lots of events going on Absolutely. tomorrow. Absolutely. Yeah, it's going to be very, very busy. Holiday, for sure. And people, of course, are, it's a very important holiday for us to also celebrate and also remember the history that comes along with it, too. Businesses and organizations are celebrating Juneteenth, a pivotal moment in American history when enslaved people in Texas learned they were free more than two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. And today, the Discovery Children's Museum is hosting some activities to commemorate this very important holiday. And our Isabella Martin is joining us live from there to tell us more about how the community is coming together to celebrate. Good morning, Isabella. Good morning, Justin and Anjali. Yes, they have a bunch of fun activities, and I'm actually doing one right now. We've, me and Latoya have been coloring for the past 20 minutes, I and we're looking at you, but I'm just like sitting here color, coloring in my happy place. We've been talking about how peaceful it is, but Latoya is here to tell us more about these activities and what the museum is doing for Juneteenth. Thank First, you. thank you so much for waking up this of early course. for us. You got it, and I think you need more pink in your <laughs> picture, but thank you for having me. Thank you. So, Latoya, tell us about these activities and what the museum is doing. Well, I'm so excited. It's Juneteenth. I mean, it's Freedom Day today. And so today is the day where we celebrate when the final freeze were, the slaves were freed. Um, we know that legally they were freed in 1863, but it wasn't until two years later that the final slaves were freed in 1865. And so we celebrate that here. And the museum loves to create environments where kids can come and learn things like that through play. And so we're actually like you and I are making a banner together. And that's one of the activities that will be happening through this week. That's so great. I already feel like I'm learning so much just by sitting next to you and yeah. coloring this little picture. But I know that the museum will be hosting these activities all week until Saturday. But Saturday is different than any of the days. Can you talk about that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, Saturday's amazing. I mean, we have an entire run of show here, but it's like we've got um, some amazing musicians. Um, we have a drumming workshop that's happening on Saturdays. I don't know if you've ever drummed before, but you need to come and do that. We also have Ariana that's um, actually going to be doing an art display that's like a commemorative of Juneteenth um, and so much more. The Juneteenth flag, we're doing the Black National Anthem, all the things. And like one of my favorite things that happens every year year is we have uh, the dancers that come every year and they're called culture shock and they're so good well I think culture shock might just become my new favorite thing yeah. because they're actually here and they're giving us a sneak peek let's see the dance that they're doing right now Yay. Wow, they are absolutely killing it. I am so excited to see this full dance. There's one dancer, though. She's got a little bit to say. She's going to tell us about the meaning behind this dance. Braylon, thank you so much for waking up early with us, too. Yes, thank you for having us today. Um, so this dance, it allows us to be very united amongst each other, and each time we get to perform together is a really great time. Well, I'm so excited to see this dance in entirety on Saturday. Thank you so much again, girls. Um, the activity will be on Saturday, and we'll have more information about that at 6.30. Back to you, Justin and Anjali. All right, Isabella, thank you. Thank you. Well, today, businesses and organizations are celebrating Juneteenth, a pivotal moment in our country's history when enslaved people in Galveston, Texas, learned they were free more than two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. And today, the Discovery Children's Museum is hosting some activities to commemorate this important holiday. Isabella Martin is joining us live from there to tell us more about how the community is coming together to celebrate. <laughs> for all of this morning. Good morning. I'm here at the Discovery Children's Museum celebrating Juneteenth and just taking in all of these activities that the museum has to offer. But I could explain Hi. the activities, but I think Latoya over here can do a better job. 
We are done with our work, our piece that we Call did. Call it what it is. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> just so everyone knows, this is a masterpiece. But yeah, we are. We're so excited because this is just one of the few things we're going to be doing on Saturday, um, and actually all this week. But this this is a, a a celebration banner that families and our kids can come and and do together at the museum, and we'll collaborate that and make it a community effort. We're also doing like freedom wreaths and bracelets and all the things, but but on Saturday on the 22nd, from uh, 10 a.m. to 5, we're gonna have some special activities. You saw the amazing dancers, Culture Shock, they're so good. And we also have an art display, we've got some poetry. I mean, there's just so many wonderful things happening Saturday. And you know, before we get into the su surprise that we have, a sneak peek that we're going to see on Saturday. LaToya, tell me why it's so important that the museum is celebrating Juneteenth and yeah. bringing all of these people together. Yeah, you know what, it's it's the opportunity for community to, to come together. I think one of the most beautiful things about this museum is that it creates these beautiful, interactive, lively, colorful ways for our families and our kids to learn through play. I mean, I think, when look at how restful and loving and wonderful this was for us to just color. So imagine a bunch of kids coming together and doing this every time they come here. And so to be able to teach people about our history while they're playing and they're being imaginative is ideal. I love that. There's so much passion behind this and we've been talking all morning about the passion and coloring, yes. and, coloring <laughs> um, and I love that. But can you tell us a little bit about what is happening on Saturday that we are going to get a sneak peek at? Because I'm super excited about this. Absolutely. So you arrive at 10 a.m. Um, you know, there's going to be an amazing flag. Um, you know, the Juneteenth flag is going to be raised and you're going to interact with kids and parents and um, some of the, the staff here at the Discovery Children's Museum and something very, very surprising, we're going to hear a beautiful song. And we're, that song is the Black National Anthem and we have Mahalia who is going to sing the Black National Anthem on Saturday. I'm going to let her take it away and finish out our live shot with her beautiful singing voice. Thank you. Lift every voice and Till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank I cannot you. wait to see Thank the entirety of that performance on Saturday. It will be at the Discovery Children's Museum at 10 a.m. So if you'd like to see Mahalia and these amazing dancers perform, come on down. Back to you in the studio, Justin and Anjali.